Paul Zahn of the Eight, from the novels by Edgar Rice Burroughs, with Mr. James H. Pierce as Tarzan and Miss Jewel Ann Burroughs as Jane Porter. This is an American Gold Seal production coming to you over the World Broadcasting System and Associated Stations. Tarzan, after rescuing Jane from the pirate ship, takes her into the jungle with him because he believes that her own party cannot protect her. Meanwhile, Professor Porter's party is captured by the pirates. But Lieutenant Darlow escapes and reaches the hut where Jane and Tarzan have returned. Together, Jane, Tarzan, and Darno return to the pirate camp. Helped by a fight among the pirates, they attack, and under cover of the battle, Clayton, Philander, Professor Porter, and Francois run for the beached longboat. Now, are you ready? Hold your breath. To this boat, Professor? If only I could have snatched up a rifle. Well, get them, get them, Monsieur Ra will push the boat into the water. It seems foolish to try to escape by boat. Never mind that now, Professor. It's our one hope. Uh, shall I throw this shovel away? No, no, no. Keep it, Professor. It's a poor weapon, but the only one we have at the moment. Let us each take an oar, Monsieur. Yes, yes each of us. Except the professor. Yes, professor. Will you sit in the stern sheet, please? Oh, uh, really, please. I'm not as ill as that. I can easily... You will greatly aid us, Archimedes, if you'll not argue. Come, come, row quickly. Before snipes or one of those pirates catches sight of us. Uh, which way are we to go? Clayton? Down the coast, toward the hut. But that way we shall be in full sight of the arrow. We'll have to chance it. I believe it. Oh, we... Why not? What is it, Francois? They're putting over a boat from the arrow. Oh, what rotten luck. I hope they wouldn't see us until we had a minute or so start. Uh, no use continuing, is there? And uh, running our head on into them? We must, Archimedes. Unless we run the boat ashore again and fall into the hands of snipes and the pirates we've just left. No. By Jove, I have an idea. Swing the boat around. What are you going to do, Clayton? Hit the boat into the little stream that flows near the hut. Uh, but, Clayton, that stream is not navigable. It's high tide. We can get out of sight at any rate. Well, sure, the boat is swinging. Give her a few good strokes with your port oar. Right. Right, Francois. Ah, there. Now, if we can run the boat up that stream, even for a few yards, then abandon it and take to the jungle, we have a good chance of getting away from them. Well, it's worth a try. We'll be no worse off than trying to outrun that longboat they've just put over. Oh, we could not do it, monsieur, with only the three of us to row. That's quite right, quite right. Ah, here's the mouth of the stream. Head in. Look out. Watch your head, Archimedes. Those branches. You were right, Clayton. The overhanging bushes make a very effective screen. Uh, can you see the other boat now? Yes. Yes, they seem to have turned and are making for the pirate camp. That means reinforcements. I hope oh, that... What, Philander? Oh, I hope that something has happened to Snipes. Something unpleasant. I hope so, too. Well, this stream is rather smaller than I thought. Well, use your oars as poles, monsieur. Here, here, I will show you. Like I'm afraid we can't go much farther. It's too shallow, even for this boat. Oh, we are quite out of sight of the beach among the bushes here. Nevertheless, let's put as much distance as possible between ourselves and the pirate. Come on. Push! Everyone! Up in the trees, Jane watches the mutineers battle among themselves. Her last few shots had given her father a chance to escape, but where he has gone, she does not know. She turns around and sees Tarzan swinging rapidly toward her. Oh, Tarzan! Herm and Ganny fighting each other now. Where are father and Cecil? And others? Tarzan doesn't know. I saw father running along the sand toward the other side of the headland. I didn't see the others. They are gone. None of your people are here. Only the cruel Herm and Ganny. Then we might as well go. Father and the others are evidently making their way through the jungle to the hut. Where is Dino? I saw him a few moments ago at the other side of the camp. He was working his way back toward the tree where we separated. All right. Jane, ready to go? Yes, I'm ready. Good. Tarzan, get Dino, and we'll go back to the hut. Tarzan picks Jane up from the branch, places his arm about her, and swings off toward where he had left Dino. The sounds of the fight die out as Tarzan rapidly makes his way from branch to branch. In spite of the speed at which he travels, the ape man's eyes never leave the ground. Ah, there, standing beside a great tree is Darno. Tarzan, with Jane held tightly to his side, drops quickly to the ground. I was awaiting you, monsieur and mademoiselle. I knew you would not remain after the professor and the others made their escape. Did you see which way they went, Lieutenant? No, I did not, mademoiselle Jane. I only saw them running. 
and as I did not see them return, nor any of the pirates go after them, I assume that they made good their escape. We will go to the hut and wait. They will come. Yes, that is what I thought, too. All right, but I think we'd better walk. Jane, not like to go in trees? Yes, I like them, Tarzan. But you can't take both of us. All right, Jane. On foot, the three set off through the jungle towards the hut in the clearing. Meanwhile, at the pirate camp, the fighting is over. Several still forms lie prostrate upon the sand. Snipes, a revolver in each hand, stands in the middle of the camp. Not far away is Carlos, lying prone upon the sand, but conscious. Come out here, you scum. Come out! I ain't going to shoot you. Your battle is all over. Might as well give him, boys. Snipes has got the upper hand. All right, Snipes. I'll surrender. That's more like it. You see what happens to guys who tries to cross Captain Snipes? Sure, Snipes. Sure, sure. But you say that you let our prisoners get away in the meantime, don't you? Oh, don't you worry your head about that. I'm going to get that there lieutenant back here. And when I get through with him, I'll know where that treasure is in. Or there won't be no looting. Snipes, you're as crazy as a loon. Look here, Carlos. I don't want no more trouble here. So keep a civil tongue in your head. All right, Snipes. All right. What I meant to say, see, Smiles, I don't think that lieutenant knows anything about the treasure. He told King he did, and I still think he knows. Anyhow, I'm going to find out. Well, and how are you going to do that, Snipes? I'm going to send two or three men over to the yacht and bring him back here. All right, Snipes. All right. We've tried that a couple of times. Anyhow, uh, we don't know that he's at the hut. If you are set on getting that lieutenant, we'll take the whole crew, except enough men to guard the arrow, and go over to the hut. Yes, Carlos, I think you're right. That's the first suggestion what you mind that I agreed with. And after we get the lieutenant snipes, you better let me work on him. Well, we'll see about that after we get them. Both of them. All right, sir. Signal the arrow. Tell them we want them for men that they can spare ashore. We're going to that gloomy nut, and we're not coming back without the lieutenant. <laughs> From the fringe of trees that circled the clearing, Jane, Darno, and Tarzan step out into the open before the hut. Tarzan steps quickly, easily, and quietly across the few feet toward the door of the hut, lifts the latch, and swings open the door. Well, nobody here. Come on, Jane. Darno. Oh, I can't understand why they aren't here. Probably they have taken a roundabout way here, mademoiselle. We must just wait patiently. Maybe father is sick. Uh, yes, le pauvre Professor Fortier was still suffering from the after effects of the fever when I left the camp, mademoiselle. Oh, oh, nothing serious to understand. But enough so that a march through the jungle might take him a little extra time. Well, we might as well go into the hut and wait. Shall Tarzan get Jane and Darno something to eat? Oh, I don't want anything to eat right now, thank you, Tarzan. I've got too much in my mind. Well, let us wait, please, Tarzan, until the others arrive and all eat together. Oh, the inside of this cabin looks as if it had been through a cyclone. The first thing I'll have to do is to sort it and clean it up. Ecoute, listen. What? Do you hear anything, Tarzan? I hear Numa, Sabor, Sheeta, a long way off. I do not hear Tarman, Ganny. I thought I heard a shout, but it must have been some other sound. Perhaps, perhaps it might have been a shout. Oh, dear, I wonder what could have happened. Tarzan, go out and look, Jane. Yes, Tarzan, please. I don't like to ask you, but I wish you would see if you could find Daddy. Perhaps you could help them all find their way here quicker through the jungle. All right. Jane and Dino stay here in the hut. Do not go into the jungle. Oh, of course, Tarzan. Tarzan will go into the trees and find your father. Oh, Tarzan, I hope you can find them. Don't worry. Tarzan will find them. Tarzan steps quickly from the cabin and swings up, up into the trees, back toward the pirate camp. At the stream, Professor Porter, Clayton, Philander, and Francois are aground in their boat. It's no use. We can't make another inch. We've successfully eluded the pirates at any rate, Cecil. Yes. There's not a sound of pursuit. Good. Then let's drag the boat as far under the branches overhanging the stream as we can. Permit me, monsieur. I will guide it. Fine. Thanks, Francois. I'll push with this turn oar. There. There, there. Now, all right. All right. That will do, I think. 
We can at least find it again if we should happen to need it. Uh, climb up, Professor. Yes, I, I'm coming. Here, take my hand, Archimedes. Monsieur, we should not be far from the hut if I have not become turned about in my bearing. Oh, about a mile, I figure it. Well, let's proceed at once. I'm sure we'll find down over there. You all right, Archimedes? Uh, why, yes, Melander. Well, let's hide him. Hey, if you become too fatigued, Professor, perhaps Francois and I can manage to carry you. No, well, no, no, please. I, I should be all right. Monsieur! Hey, hey, what? What? what, what, what is it? Blacks! Cannibals! And there, facing the little group of defenseless white men, stands a party of black warriors. Silent, menacing, with drawn bows and spears upraised. Has Professor Porter's party escaped the pirates?